Welcome back to Eddie's Speed Garage. I'm Ed. Today we're going to be working on my 2019 Honda Pilot. We're going to install the transmission oil cooler, which in combination with the hitch is going to allow you to tow up to 5,000 pounds with this thing without voiding your warranty. Let's take a look at the parts. So what we have here is the trans cooler itself with some extension hoses as well as hoses on here four clamps, four bolts, and the all-important sticker that's gonna go on your replacement trim piece in the back that gives you a 5,000 pound rating for your vehicle. If you don't do this conversion, Honda will void your warranty on anything related to any kind of transmission issues if you tow over 3,500 pounds. So first things first, we're gonna move this trim panel up top. Snapped in here across the front. And it was that easy. So next time I want you to remove the air intake. The only reason I'm actually doing this is because I'm gonna have to disconnect the battery when I do the harness work. But for, for just the trans cooler, you probably won't have to do this. And the only reason is, is that the battery is buried right underneath there. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. After I make this video, I'm gonna roll on to the next one about the harness. So in order to get this intake off, there's a series of these four plastic screws. We'll just unscrew the tops. careful not to drop any of these. Pull up. Pull your clips out so you don't lose them. And give this a little wiggle back and forth and there you go. And there you have it. There's the battery. Just so you could see it. That's why I did all that. If you look straight in there, you'll be able to see that's exactly where that mount, there the cooler is going to be mounted to that center bar there and uh, the radiator support, I believe, underneath it. All right, so underneath here, there's a series of push clips. There's a couple of Phillips screws here, and then along the front, there's it looks like what they're 10 millimeter bolts. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move this shield. And then we're gonna work on getting this middle center, sec center section off here. So the first part of the shield is out. You see now the whole bottom of the under of the engine is exposed. So part of the subframe is here. Next we're gonna work on getting this out of the way and that. There's this support here and it tells you to bend this flap out of your way and take, there's four bolts out, two on each side, so you can get access to stuff in front of it. Alright, so now that the four bolts are out, there's two of these plastic push buttons that have to come out on both sides as well. Alright, so now that those pop rivets are out, just pull it out like this. Pulled it right out. Alright, so this is a view of where the trans cooler is going to go. So I'm just going to shove it up in here with eight of my assistants. It's a bit of a shortcut. He's going to push it up into place. And I'm going to start this bottom bolt here. All right, so here we go. We're going to go through the grill and into the hole here. Started. Don't mind the little piece of glove, it's a little trick I used. All right, folks, 
So I went through the grill instead of removing all that stuff, use a long extension. I got them all three in. They weren't that difficult to get to. One of them is down here. You can see it right there. And then the other one's up here and then another one way back here. Pretty easy to do. I didn't have to take the whole front end of the car apart. All right, folks, so this is the adapter. It's gonna go in here. It's gonna sneak through and be on this side and attach to these two hoses coming off the trans cooler. So this is a little bit of a pain in the butt. You're not gonna be able to see much of what I'm doing, but you have a small hole up here that will allow you to push the hoses through. That's the tab on the cooler adapter lines. It goes straight into that hole. You can see above it, there's a bit of a glare from my light, but I wanted to show you. There's a threaded hole and then an oval hole to catch the tab. Right, that's the finished product there with the bolt installed. Uh, Universal helped quite a bit here as well. Next, we're gonna hook these two hoses up to those two ends there. If, as you can see right there, I've already got my clips slid up on there. So uh, this is a case, yeah, maybe a little bit of spit on the end of these might help. I'll show you guys this, but man, Honda thinks everything. They got these special clips. They're preloaded already. All you gotta do is squeeze the tabs when you get it in where you want it, and it releases and locks your hose in place. So there's the transmission line that you need to remove right there. At the bottom, you'll see the big round thing. That's the trans filter, and at the top, it's just going back into the the engine bay somewhere but those are the two lines that you'll need to swap out all right the two lines are in the bottom one goes to the lower hole and the top one goes to the higher hole i just got to finish these clamps and then uh, the installation of the trans cooler will be complete all right folks so this is as you can see this is the 3500 pound sticker and this is the one that comes with the trans cooler and it says 5,000 pounds. So that's where it goes. All right, so the reassembly is the reverse of disassembly. Once you get the transmission cooler in, everything's a piece of cake. Uh, difficulty, I would say, is probably six out of 10. It was a pain in the ass getting the lines. It was hard to reach places and stuff. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. So remember to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Coming up next, we'll be putting the wiring harness in for the trailer hitch. Catch you later.